everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to show the server location in Roblox Studio. So basically you know how like Bedwars has like it shows the server location like US East or something like that. So that's what I will show you today. So uh, it's actually pretty simple. It's only a few lines of code. So first we're going to enter oh, uh, remote event into replication search and we're going to call this server location. Okay. This will interact between the server and the client. Then we enter a screen GUI, okay, we're going to call this server location, okay. So, uh, enable will be false and ignore gill set will be true and reset on spawn, no, enable will be true, ignore gill set will be true and then reset on spawn will be false, okay. So then, text table, we're going to put over here, okay. We're going to put it like this, just like that, and then I'll just quickly scale it using auto scale light, okay. In the model, it will be uh, scaled for you. Okay, and then we're gonna uh, make the text X alignment to the left, and we're gonna call this server location like that. Just do that. And then let's make the text color three white, and then uh, text stroke transparency zero, and then uh, we'll uh, make the background trans something like that. Okay. So now uh, we're gonna insert a local script. Okay. So, uh, game replicate storage dot server location dot on client event connect function, and then we're gonna do text. So we're uh, when I'm uh, firing the client, uh, so then we're gonna script dot parent dot text equals to text, just like that. Okay. So the text will be fired from the from the the server. Okay. Then just make this like nothing. Okay. So now we're just gonna insert a server script. And I think we will be good. But also, we're gonna also have to publish the game because we have to use HTTPS service. So just say, oh damn, I clicked team create. Oh, it takes so much extra time. When it, why does it auto do team create? It's so freaking annoying. I have to wait like extra five seconds. It's annoying. Okay, so we're gonna go to game settings, uh, security, and then turn on uh, HTTPS request. Uh, okay, so now we're going to insert a script, we're going to do, uh, location server, okay? So we're going to do game dot players dot player add it connect function, uh, plr, okay? So we're going to do, uh, local, uh, http service equals to game get service, bruh, get service, HTTP service, looks like that. Then we're gonna do a local server info. Now watch this. We're gonna, uh, this is hard. Equals to HTTP service. Okay. HTTP service. J sound. Uh, J S O N D. J O J S O N D code. Okay. And then in the first we're gonna do HTTP service. Get a sync. Okay. Then we're gonna do, uh, this will be, uh, like, the link or something like that. So we're gonna do HTTP, like this. Okay, and then semicolon, slash, slash, IP, dash, API, okay, dot com, slash, JSON, slash. Just like that. Okay? So basically, that's the link that gets the location, okay? So now we're gonna do game, the replicated storage, dot location no dot uh bro what is the remote moment server location fire client player comma server uh server location like this space dot dot okay and then uh we're gonna do in uh parentheses server info dot city no capitals okay comma I uh, know dot dot comma space dot dot uh server uh info dot country okay just like that and yeah done so look and I think it will work so if I press play the server location will pop up right here boom server location this in the United States uh I'm gonna blur that out since that, uh, because in Roblox View it takes your internet connection and then shows your real location of the server, so I'm just gonna blur that out. Just United States, okay? So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. 
the uh, the model will be in the description and like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Bye.